top-down numbers, do not pitch top-down numbers. Do not say sponsorship is a $19 billion market and we're going to get 1% of that. That's top-down. Do bottoms up. Bottoms up is we're going to charge our product at $60 and we think there are 50,000 people that are willing to purchase our product. So that is our total addressable market. And maybe you can put a discount on that. So always do bottoms up. And the third one, I forgot. Uh, do you have one? <laughs> First of all, everybody who pitched it, give yourselves a hand. That was choices to make and actually we thought we had made the choices and then we started talking about it. Yeah, we, we didn't want to get recorded by the startup podcast and then we said once we decided we allowed them to come in and we're just going to pretend to talk and we completely changed the results and ended up being about a half an hour so it was actually interesting and I'm glad we did that it was a much more effective judging process. Uh, it really was and so no one should be disappointed with the results today. I mean, it was it was it was hard fought, and there was there was a lot of teams that we were really arguing over who was going to get. There were a few that were amazing, and I think everybody unanimously. There was really only well, two that there was two. Unanimous. There was only two teams that got a unanimous vote, so I mean, it was that close. Um, so, like what I want to echo, somewhat Elliot said, uh, leave your demo, and and that the we're going to capture one percent of this market thing should never be said again. <laughs> My third one is, when there's a projector here, don't stand in front of it because we can't see what you're project presenting. Just be a bit more conscious and aware of your environment. It makes a difference. Um, but again, what Mitch was saying, like we've learned quite a few things now. This is maybe the 16th time we've run Startup Bus. As Ray Land just said there, he's like, I can't believe this has happened yet another year. And I'm with him, it just keeps happening and it just keeps getting better and better. Seventeen. It's enough. Anyway, yeah. um, and there's two things that, you know, we, we get a lot of feedback each year. We do a survey to all the participants and all the conductors and we learn a lot. And there's two things that really stick out each year. And the first one is something that Mitch just mentioned, which is the amazing disappointment that comes out of not getting to the semi-finalist. I've had one guy who I knew from the first bus get so upset at me that he didn't make the semi-finals and he actually stopped talking to me after that. And he got into Y Combinator, almost just to spite me and Startup Bus, which I thought was awesome, by the way. But uh, WasteBits never made the semi-finals, and they're a company still running. They're one of maybe four companies that were born of Startup Bus that actually still are running. Um, Jorge. Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> so Jorge from Mexico is still mad at me and brings us up at least once every quarter that he did not win Startup Bus this year. His company's still functioning. They're doing great, and they have built amazing technology. But he is still pissed. <laughs> so, like, I'm, I'm literally sitting next to him this week because he's at a startup house and they're signing contracts of 11 million users and they're getting some of these big brands trying to sign up. I'm pretty sure to We didn't win! And he's still yeah. pissed off. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> but the, the thing is, the, the whole reason we do Startup Bus is the community. We put you through this ridiculous experience that you can't succeed in, but you do. And it builds, it's an excuse for you to work to, with people. And you go from strangers to best buddies within a week. And the fact that we've had co-founders of billion dollar companies come out of this community just kind of goes to show there's something special about what's going on. So the two things that I want to mention right now is um, people do this to meet other people and that is at core what we're doing. And we facilitate that with a unique way. My secret to networking is not to go to networking events, it's to work with people. And you're doing this at scale and it was inspired by a thing called Trilogy University. Trilogy was a, um, one of the hottest companies in the dot-com days, and they were competing against Microsoft. They had like 10,000 people, and they did this thing called Trilogy University, where they, first they recruited the best graduates from every university, and then they got the best person from the year before to run a class for three months, where they pitched an internal project. Anyway, the Trilogy Alumni Network dominates technology. And the reason I know about the Trilogy Alumni Network is because my old boss, the CEO of Vast.com, was running Trilogy. And when he heard that I was doing Startup Bus, he said to everyone around me, who were his ex-colleagues, he's building another Trilogy University. And that's what inspired me to start doing this thing called Conductors and running multiple buses. And the Conductors are the bridge and the link between the community. Anyway, going back to that, the network and the people you meet and the, the platform that we create for you, don't underestimate that. And the second thing that I already mentioned and that we talked about is the disappointment. 
So Mitch and I alluded to something before that we're going to do that's completely different and has never happened before. And Mitch, do you want to just close this for maybe one or another? Um, well, I do want to say one thing that, um, you know, I've always said we don't build technology, we build people. And one of the opportunities we're going to give you guys today is to, is to really step out and meet some more people and, and build something um, that's bigger than the projects that you're working on. Um, so if you want to, do you want to announce now or do you want to just... No, I, I think I, you'll find out eventually. So, <laughs> Let's just say the right people will find out eventually. We've been keeping an eye on you all, and you'll be getting a message if we think you should be part of this. Does anybody have any idea what they're talking about? Is that mostly what Startup Us is about? You come in here thinking you got a pitch three minutes, and then we say, oh no, it's four. I hope everybody has a four minute long pitch, because you should have been working as if you won. And even after this, you should be working as if you won. Let's give it a round of applause for, for everybody, everybody. This year has been absolutely incredible. I didn't watch all the pitches, but I'm gonna go back, watch the video. The ones that I did see were amazing. It absolutely blew me away. Now, I'm not sure how to dra drag it on too much longer, so I think I'll start announcing who's gonna be pitching in the semifinals. Woo! Woo! Yeah! The first team... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is everybody calm, ready for this? Yeah. The first team is Yeti Graham from Tampa. The second team is Del Campo from Mexico City. The next team is Sea Searcher. <laughs> Drop in pedals from Tampa. Daisy from New York City. You guys killed it. New York! Course Align. Limo from Mexico City. Titan from South And Money Expert from Mexico City. So, to make sure that everyone's aware, those teams need to put a four minute pitch on with a four minute Q&A. Oh, actually, I didn't scroll all the way down. The last finalist is Initiate Today from St. Louis. Congratulations, guys. Let's get the uh, uh, semi-finalists.
Back away on your pitches, get them ready. We're going to be starting them at four.